my channel i hope you're looking fabulous so today i'm going to be doing this look which is my go to makeup look which i do all the time when i'm in a hurry or i don't know i just feel like this is a very fail proof makeup look so if you want to know how i got this look please keep on watching but before we head to the video please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so if you're on instagram please do follow me there and yeah let's get started with the video i already prepped my skin i also did my brows but i feel like i need a little bit of moisturizer because it's been a while since i put on the moisturizer and i think my skin is looking a little like you know dry right now so i'm going to reapply this moisturizer which is the sunday riley tidal water cream so first of all, I'm going to prime my eyelids. I'm going to apply this eyeshadow primer from e.l.f. and I'm going to apply a thin layer on my eyelids and I'm going to blend that out using my fingertips. So next I'm going to add some eyeshadow. I'm just going to use one eyeshadow all over my lids just to get that oomph factor to this whole look. So I'm going to grab this Huda Beauty palette and I'm going to take this eyeshadow which is called Trust Fund which is a beautiful coppery sort of a shade and I feel like those kind of tones kind of complement me and you can get away with just one eyeshadow with those kind of colors. So I'm going to apply that eyeshadow only up until my crease. I'm not going to take it beyond that. So next I'm going to take this Morphe blending brush. This one is in the number 513 and I'm going to diffuse the ends and the crease a little bit so it looks kind of beautiful. And I'm also going to reapply that coppery eyeshadow just to make the lids a little more intense. Now taking this dark brown eyeshadow from the same palette, I'm using an angled brush and I'm going to draw a slight wing. So this will give you that lifted kind of a look. So I'm skipping eyeliner today and just sticking to this brown shadow wing liner. Again, I'm reapplying that copper eyeshadow and blending the edges using the blending brush. So for primer, I'm going to apply this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is an amazing primer. I'm going to apply that onto my face. This one kind of like smoothens your skin and the base just goes on so beautifully on top of it. I love it. So for my base, I'm going to use these two products. So first of all, we have here the Glowish Skin Tint. This one is a glowy kind of a skin tint and it's beautiful, especially like mixed in with foundation. So I'm going to mix it with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. So I'm going to take these two, mixing it up, and then I'm going to apply that onto my face. So the Glowish Skin Tint is actually beautiful but it has a sheen that is quite intense on its own in my opinion but it is beautiful nonetheless but then when I mix it with foundations it just gives you that beautiful sheen for the foundation like it's like a lit from within kind of a look. Now for concealer I'm going to take this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and I'm going to apply it under my eyes. So this one is in the shade medium beige and I really like this more than the original one. The original one is actually a matte concealer. This one is a little more on the satin finish and it's really nice. So the color is also a nice match. So I'm going to apply that onto my chin as well, a little bit on my forehead and also on the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to blend the concealer. So for blending the concealer, I always use this tapping motion rather than like dragging the product around. So this one kind of like gives you maximum coverage. Now to set the concealer, I'm going to use this Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder from Maybelline and I'm going to set my under eyes and this one is the shade medium. I'm using a brush from Zoeva and I love this brush to set my concealer. Now taking the same brown eyeshadow which we used to apply the winged liner, I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to diffuse that onto my lower lash line and kind of complete this eye look. I love this brown shade because it has this reddish undertone to it and it is such a beautiful brown eyeshadow. I love it so much. Now for bronzer, I'm going to apply this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer which is my absolute absolute favorite. This one is in the shade What Shady Beaches. This one has such a beautiful finish. It looks very airbrushed and it's also pigmented. So I'm taking this brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to apply that onto my face. Now for blush, I'm going to apply this Pixie Blush Stick which is actually a moisturizing kind of a blush stick. It's a cream blush and this one is a beautiful color and this one is a little on the dewier side. So I'm applying a bit and I'm going to blend that out using this stippling brush from Sigma. This one is in the number F. 55 and since this blush is very dewy i'm gonna skip highlighter because it's already quite glowy and for mascara i'm gonna apply my favorite ride or die mascara this is the essence lash princess mascara and this is so good especially for the price point it's amazing so i'm applying a generous coat on my upper and lower lashes so next we're going to move on to the lips we are going to line the lips first so this is the kiko lip liner in the number 531 it's a dark brown sort of a color i'm obsessed with brown lip liners with any lip color i like pairing it with brown lip liners and this one is very affordable as well and it glides on it's really pigmented so next i'm going to diffuse it with my finger a little bit so that it kind of creates a gradient effect now i'm going to apply this lipstick which is from huda beauty this is the power bullet lipstick in the shade board meeting it is a nice brown color but on its own it looks a little off on my skin tone but with this lip liner it looks beautiful 
this lip combination just screams fall i love brown lip combinations next i'm going to apply some fix plus onto my face this is the mac fix plus and that is the final step so this is my go-to makeup look i don't use the same products all the time but i do switch up the products but the look kind of remains the same when i'm in a hurry and i don't know i just love this look a lot i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of my videos please don't forget to hit subscribe and please do leave me a comment on what video you want to see next and thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye